Hey, how's uh, classes going, Ethan? Good? Good? good, yeah, good, good. Oh, it's, is that that whole little thing where you talk beforehand? Yeah. You know, and then it's like, oh, oh, hey! Hey, oh, there's your mother-in-law! Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> but, uh, so, here we go again. Yeah. Uh, another review. We're, you know, we're real excited about this. Um, Migo coming back. You know, announced at Comic Con. You know, announced well, before that, but then they finally yeah. announced the line. Rolled out, you know, for a uh, for a company that's big and kind of smallish at the same time. Yeah. They're coming back around. They've been really great with us. Um, so you know, right. we, we we definitely appreciate that. We we had a thing up on um, the Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. Actually, got a comment from Twitter of questions to ask Marty Abrams. So yeah. we're gonna send that back in. We yeah. finally. I think we had about 15 or 20 yeah, well, solid good questions. We figured so. after the review, if anybody has any questions left, yeah. put them in the comments. Yeah, we haven't sent them back we're yet. Gonna, so. We're going to roll this thing up. So before we get into it, each of these is a classic DC character. They are limited well, number. Well, it's right? as classic. And, and granted, Harley Quinn is 25 years plus now. Yeah. Okay. And I think she had her birthday last year. It was 25. Well, but... Modern classic? Well, one of the things that everybody has kind of asked when it has come to the Migo so far is you're seeing some more obscure characters. So what's licensed, what's not, right. at least in the smaller figures. So you know that they may have still had the license to do Amigo Batman, a, a Amigo Zod, and Amigo Wonder Woman. What a great least, shirt! Yeah. Whoa! 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 Whoa. What a shirt! Whoa. Hold on. All right. Shout out on Whoa. this one. So Batman. So before we start, we're gonna we're gonna on each of these, okay? If you can see, right, they've got a Mego trivia question. Ooh. So in what because you haven't read these, so Oh I haven't. No, I haven't. In what comic did Batman make his First debut, so... Detective Comics number 27. Whoa! There you go. Boom! That's what happens when you hang out with Bob. All right, so wait. I want to do the rest of these. Let's... let's. Well, yeah. I have to look at them. You just want to do them in a row? Let's do them right now. Okay. You don't want to do them when we review each No, no. Let's do them now. Okay. We got a a question thing going on here. I like it. Whoa. Uh-oh. All right. We're... Wait, wait. Can I say Paul Danini and Bruce Tim without even looking? No. No? Damn. Um... (laughs) Because I, I I'd almost I'd almost want to. Well, you know what? Let me read you the you question. Give me a hint. I, no, you, that's you, not no. even it. You I want to give me a hint. I, I want to just disagree with the question in general. Oh. How did Harley Quinn obtain her metahuman abilities? Oh, I'm sorry. Metahuman. Come on. Okay. Does I she know. have metahuman abilities? Well, now, now we're getting in a, into a, a a weird territory mm. with this character, which is. Does she have abilities? What are those abilities? In certain lines, she does or doesn't. But this whole metahuman thing... I, just, would have, I would have said that in Suicide Squad, she should have had metahuman abilities because that would have made sense yeah. to pull somebody into a team who has to save well, she's the really world instead of just... The bat. I guess. I mean, is that a plot point? I, I don't know. Well, you know or what? Or is it to sell t-shirts at Hot Topic? Since we're... Uh, no, it's actually to make um, every nerd at a Comic Con drool. Um, so, you know, as much as we're beating up the question, let's see what the answer is. Yeah, what's the answer? What's the answer? The answer. Oh, is... it's even upside down. Like, oh, okay. Pursuit. Okay. Ha ha! Jokes on you. Ha ha! When no, she I was, was say, didn't say that. <laughs> no, I I gotta. I'm gonna try not to not to make the joke here. You may need to edit this. Oh no! When okay. when she was injected with serum. By Poison Ivy. Okay, so so this is the Poison Ivy Harley Quinn run kind of question. Do you, do you know that? Like, did yeah, you know that story? I line? have a rough idea of it because I, I didn't read all of it. I read some of it. Um, okay. But okay, let's keep okay. going. Okay. All right, we'll move that over. That, and then uh, that. So over this here. is this is the one I've been looking forward to because it was the only General Zod figure you could get from back in the day. When there were Superman Migos for 1978 Superman. So, All which right. is, it's cool too because it's the 40th anniversary of Superman, the film, and now you're actually going to be able to get a General Zod. Well, you can get a General Zod figure in the mail. You I know, know what? I, I could pull this off for Halloween. You could. I have numerous times been very, very close with the wife 
to be Zod and Ursa for Halloween. But if you really look at that outfit, you are like one step away from like 70s porn star. Oh, you really are the, in the movie outfit. This outfit's a little bit more subdued. Oh, does he have a little kryptonite in there? Why would you give him kryptonite? We'll get into that. All why right. would you give him kryptonite? All right. So, <laughs> why was Zod banished to the Phantom Zone? Oh, because he tried to take over Krypton. He wanted to be its supreme leader. Okay. Um, you're there. Who was it he was trying to overthrow? Oh, uh, Jor-el. Okay, and with what? Oh, God, I don't know. It's just a revolution, I guess. Yeah. I, I have no uh, idea. Like, think... Oh, God, I can't even believe I'm going to say this. Think Man of Steel. Oh, with the um, that, that those devices, those, like, world converters. Mm, think Star Wars and Man of Steel. What was he trying to accomplish? Preservation. Episode of... 2. Cloning? Cloning machine? A clone army. Oh, okay. All right. That's so not bad. We'll buy it. We'll buy it. We'll it. We'll it. We'll it. I think you got it right. I was just being a little bit of a, of a prick. Um, what was Wonder Woman's name originally going to be? Not her, her um, character's not name. Not Diana. Not Diana. What was going to be her... The... This is the name that the character was going to choose for herself? Yes. Now, this is so actually... It wasn't going to be Wonder Woman. She was going to be like, I'm Amazonian no, Yeah, well, uh, I, I've actually heard this one. I don't know that I could have gotten this right, mm -hmm. but... Um, no idea? No, no, absolutely no clue. So, you know, it's a decent pizza as well. So, Suprema, okay. the Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah, that's a good edit. Whoever yeah. whoever made that final decision to go Wonder Woman, well, it's a um, whole good job. And granted, it's Wonder Woman was before Peter Parker, but it's that whole Reed Richards, Peter Parker, you know, Clark yeah. Kent, you know, yeah. Bruce Wayne, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that whole that whole thing. thing. So let's let's talk box real quick. So things that I enjoy about the box, I always love seeing. You know, what else I could get. Yes, um, and which is slowly, you know, it's it's just kind of disappearing, you know, and it, and Migo brought that back, which I thought that was kind of. But cool. you got to give Migo credit because it is Migo, 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 and and um, we even have Marty himself. Yeah, he's on the back of the box. On the back, it's yeah. nice to say what's up, you know. Yeah. Well, it's his company. It we'll go ahead sense. and do it real quick. We're gonna read the the yeah, blurb. So, Retro is back. For new and old fans, the play with and collect faithful oh sorry, faithful reproductions of classic toys bring back fond memories while creating new ones. For sixty years, Marty Abrams has been wow. an innovator in the toy business, heralded as the father of licensed toy action figures from the seventies. Marty yeah. created the original shared universe of Mego action figures. It's true, figures. a lot of those commercials you see on YouTube. Who could interact in the same format? Yep. Yeah. These Mego reproductions are authentic, classic characters and play patterns brought. Uh, oh, sorry, and play patterns brought back in the true classic vision of the original Mego. You know, like I, I tell you, you know, a little bit a little nostalgia there. Yeah. You know, officially licensed, detailed, fourteen-inch character, authentic retro packaging, pose figure in any action position. Mm -hmm. Original Mego toy line and quality, limited edition, numbered for your collectability. So, um, what are the numbers? It they're not. It's not actually numbered. It's okay. just a limited number. So you don't have like a one of you know five thousand or See, whatever I the thought, number is. I, maybe it's the smaller ones. But oh, you know what? I think I'm thinking of I Dream of Genie and the Mirror Mirror. Yes, uh, those those ones Star are. Trek ones. Those are very cool. So and they are numbered. We will make sure. Though I think I may have heard an answer to this from okay. Mego themselves. Okay. I say we throw this in the questions. Right? What is the number? What's it limited to? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's definitely yeah. We can get an answer. All right. That. So let's. Uh, really should have a. I didn't think we'd spend that much time on the box. To tell you the truth. Yeah, to be honest, I was I was actually really enjoying the box. Yeah, the the, the trivia question was good. I'm a, um, it, it's interesting that they have the more modern Wonder Woman here on the box. Yeah. But we're getting I the. I mean, we have a we have the movie Wonder Woman here behind us, but we're getting more of the classic colors of the old school Wonder Woman. So. Okey doke. And I already have something to say about her accessories. Does she have an accessory? Well, she should come with a lasso, which she does. No, she does. She's and got the lasso. I'm going to say kudos to Migo for not including a comb for her hair. 
Because oh, yeah, no, that would have been... I think back in the day, she probably would have come with one, or any girl yeah. figure doll would have come with a comb. But, nope, they didn't do it. So, good, good. good for them. I'm, glad, I'm, glad they, I'm glad they did that. So, let's get her let's get her out. Let's break her loose here. You know? Now, it looks like they're just... Oh, pop. Wow. I was going to say, it looks like they're just rubber bands. Yeah, they, they, they're those new double band where you can pop them right out. Pop them out. I don't... I'm assuming, I guess, you could technically get this back in if you really... Really or worked out. Crazy. And well, she's going to join the collection here. Yeah. So, God, I'm trying Get to... Get us up from under. All righty. So, uh, before we get too into this, did you have any Migos when you were a kid? I, no. We have a huge, like, we age We have an difference. age got Migo, yeah. you know, Migo was way wow. before my time. Damn, she's standing on her own. With we heels. didn't do anything. You didn't even... No. I don't know that you guys can see that here, but she's got heels. And yeah. she stands pretty well. I wonder if we could... Probably not. Mm, eh, you yeah. might be able to balance it. Okay. So, speaking well, I of had... not having the comb, you know, we're just going to do a little, yeah. you know, <laughs> like my Cal grandmother. Calic. Calic. My grandmother would do. Calic. I had um, I had three Migos when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, I had Kirk and Spock. Okay. Still have Kirk. He's shirtless Kirk now. <laughs> so, it's authentic. Okay. And I had uh, Fonzie. Who they've actually uh, brought back. Yeah, Fonzie. So I had Fonzie. And it was cool because when you hit a button in his back, he would go, A, like this. He didn't say it, but hey. he, would, he would do this and he had thumbs. Which is maybe my, probably my biggest complaint about the new Fonzie is that he doesn't have the thumbs. He doesn't have the thumbs. No. Okay. I mean, he didn't have to have the I'll spring. I'll give you that one. But. All right, so first impressions for Amigo, I love especially her hair. I a love bigger her hair. one. The hair is great. It's fabulous. Uh, it's it's like Donna Reed hair from what I'm seeing. How do I do this? this way? It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> how do I do this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, she's got the gauntlets. I like that the gauntlets aren't painted on. Yes, they're actually braces. Now the the gauntlets. headband the headband is on there. Okay, is, so it, that's is painted. it painted? Is it attached? No, it's painted. Oh, it's painted. It's painted. That's okay. But I mean, so... that would have fallen off. But with oh, the yeah. bracelets being over the hand jo uh, the hand joints, I think it works really well. Well, you know, uh, before so let's see. I wonder if Are the you... boots come off. Yeah, boots come oh, off. That's that. pretty cool. Batman can have some red boots. Should we do the wearing of the uh, we, shop? We, the we shop? have to we're do that. Shop. We have to do so that. So articulation wise, I, this is great. I mean, you know, you could get this is more of the Matrix jump. Uh, but oh, I wish we had a little army thing yeah. we could ever do the. The Trinity. Arms. She's even got a pivot in the hand. Elbow. Yeah. Head. Eh, not much yeah. going on in the watch head your, there. Watch your fingers there, man. I know, right? <laughs> Try not to get handsy. So, um... And she stands again. Like, she's, in heels! It's a great, it's a great figure. So, all right, we're gonna, uh, one other thing, too, which you can't really see till you get it out, but, you know, good for them, is she's got, like, a strapless bra, or a yeah. clear bra thing. Which oh, she is does, yeah, like, the, she's got the straps to keep her top up. the actual top up, nice. which I think is, is definitely yeah. a good thing. I mean, it is the era of Wonder Woman, and, uh, you know, she's a lot more out there at the forefront now, I think, yeah. than, she's, than, than maybe since the 70s, really. The, the best... Yeah. See you movie. Yeah. Well, it's a movie that at least has blue skies. Oh, nothing yeah. but blue skies. <laughs> yeah, I like I like her. That's I, a that's a song, Ethan. Ethan, that's a song. You didn't know. Um, I think she's solid. Let's let's move on. Yeah. Um, okay. The Incredible Hulk meets Spider Man. Each figure a foot tall and fully posable. All you need is a piece of string, and here comes Spider Man. This is a job for the Hulk. The Incredible Hulk with a face that's mean. Lots of muscle and skin that's green. Superhero Hulk. Good job, handsome. The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man from the Superhero Collection. Each sold separately by Mego. All right, you want to go, you, where do you want to go next? You want to go both both girl figures? Yeah, let's, let's do Harley Quinn. Let's, let's do, uh, it is the era of the female superhero right now. Harley Quinn, um... You know what I'm mean. I was yeah, gonna try yeah, to make some Harley? movie reference. No, but... no. I mean, I, I like that they went with this Harley over the uh, Margot Robbie uh, Harley. Um, yeah, oh, I considering how much <laughs> clothing Wonder Woman is wearing, I'm surprised they didn't. And you know what? I d this is this is a real one. Stop letting your young daughter 
go to these conventions dressed as, as Harley Quinn. Okay? It's a bad look. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think it's just a bad look. I just think it's not really the superhero that they should be emulating. Especially when yeah, it's a right? villain, one, you know, and two. I, you should definitely be in a horrible, abusive relationship. Um, exactly. Well, I mean, we really start, you know, picking at things like that. We can really go deep. <laughs> what do you think? Wait, we didn't do a smell test. Yeah. <laughs> Should have done that with the. Are you kidding me? You can't. Hey, we're, we're gonna do a smell test. <laughs> like so wrong. This is. I mean, how many girl figures have we done? Uh, we're gonna keep this because it's too funny. I gotta say, I'll, I'll at least, at least, um. At least one or two per at, week. At least, yeah, yeah. It's just all right. She does not have that new figure smell. No, that's what we were going for. No. It's oh, Jesus. Stop, because you're 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 pushing my ability to not make these jokes. <laughs> oh whoa, this is different. Oh, got a little spike in the hammer there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is really. I mean, this is a cool figure. The hands are different colors. The you'll, you guys will see when we when we finally get her out. The the shoes are actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of see this uh, being a figure that if you were the Joker and you didn't have a Harley accessory, that you could have this figure like in your pocket, um, or maybe like popping out of your, you know, on, on your back or something like this that. This is this is what I'd rather see your, you know, your daughter walking around with at a convention. It's this a... this outfit, this is cool. Is the ear is the, is the ear supposed to be it's, out I or think in? The ears are supposed to be in. I just think they want us to know that there are ears. Okay, it's I'll a pretty. It. It's a pretty. Uh, I gotta say this. Uh, this one. I mean, there's the a shoes are. Great. There's a heck of a lot more fabric in this one. The hands are great. The and they're two different colors. Posability. Will she stand on her own? Mm, Maybe this not. one might be a little tough because she's to she's in. Yeah. Shoes. She's in soft shoes. Yeah. And there's no little peg holes in the bottom of her feet. But the shoes, come on. I like this one better than the Wonder Woman. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I, I'm more attached to uh, Harley Quinn, I think, just because of her character and growing up with the animated series. Um, I don't think she can hold that, which is an interesting thing to do if you yeah. come with a, a weapon and she can't hold it. Um, I think this is a really cool, poseable... Harley Quinn. Like, yeah, I gotta say, um, I'll get her there eventually. Dude. It's just, got her. There you go. I would definitely say that originally my thought was keep these in the box. After getting them out, I think you're right. You get a little, you know, you get a 12 inch stand, and I think these go out. I yeah. mean, you're there's a lot of little kind of things on this that you've got to give credit for. The what would you call that? Like little dollop, like cook, like yeah. cotton dollops. Little 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 balls there. Yeah. Um, this is really difficult. Yeah. This this <laughs> one this one might be the hardest one we've done. <laughs> just oh. so we're gonna rock. We're I, I really wish this one was live. Like, yeah, there's just right. no this way is, we could get out. Oh of it. no, we're never coming back. No. She's got the the poofy kind of pirate uh, yeah. arm. Yeah, scenarios. and it's a, it's a, it looks as if that, like we were, the head comes back, Ooh. so now this is our weird part. This um, is the, I've been dipped in the, you know, Ace Chemicals. Right, so bath. we do have some, she, she's she got some, some almost dye. like sweat mark and some yeah. dye here, um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe a little blonde hair would have been fine, you know, just to have it yeah, kind of yeah. come out, um, but it's I hard to complain it. with how much... Yeah. Detail she already has. Are we ever going to probably take her head off again? Uh, head off again. Uh, her hat off again? No. Um, but yeah, a little weird that there's sweat marks. Yeah. You know, considering it's cloth. It. I think it bleached yeah. from the. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. I mean, from granted, the, from the outfit. Uh, okay, so nitpick because we we'll just try. Well, to... I was going to say, can you pull this back and then have the character like mm. almost out of. Of uh, out of the her superhero guys, got a little know. seam breaking, but other than that, I mean, this is a great figure. Yeah, and you she's know? definitely got the joints. You can pose Listen, her. I'll, I'll 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 say this. The, you know, this is wow. Show must go on. Yeah, right. That's the rock star vibe. <laughs> um, 
you know, Migo just coming back. This is this is cool. You know? I'm trying to make her dab, but she's not dabbing. She can't dab. She can't dab. She's on dab. Alright, Harley. No, she's uh, uh no, I mean this is you want a Mr. J. You want a yeah. Joker to go with this. So that's another thing we're saying, you know, when are we gonna see this next wave? And Migo supposedly is gonna announce the next wave very soon. Yeah. Um we've been looking for the video okay. for it. I don't know if she's gonna stay there, dude. I don't think she's gonna stay. Maybe mm. a little bit closer like that. So, nah. Yeah. Sit over here with the boys. Let her hang with the guys. Yeah. Oh, you think she'll do that? No, she's not mm. hanging with the dudes. Nope, she's not hanging. You're wrong. All right. Well, Harley's gone. Need that little stand. If I would have known that, yeah. would have brought, brought one. I have four or five of them. So. What do you think, Zod, Batman? Yeah. Zod. 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 Okay. Kneel before Zod. And his clone army. And his clone. Or maybe that's the reference. I don't know the original Zod lore with the comic, yeah, that's, but that's maybe even... they figured most modern audiences or kids are going to know. Who does that remind you of, by the way? Is it a little Vincent Price? Yeah, a little bit. A little, little Vincent? Maybe they'll make a Vincent Price. Like that's, That would be cool. That's something that I think there may be a couple of, I think Diamond Select made some Mego characters back Back in the day when Migo wasn't full on like they are now. And I think there is a, a couple different Vincent Prices. So, I kind of, you know, I could also see this. You know, you take it out of the box and, you know. Display it like that. Display it like yeah. that. It's doable. Yeah. Um, kryptonite. Um, this is an accessory where I get it and I don't understand why you would include it with a Kryptonian. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Maybe, I, mean, I would say Candor, but it's, you know, like I'll, the Bottle I'll, City of Candor. I'll, here's what I'll say. Even if you're not going to be a Mego collector, if you are a DC collector or fan, this just alone would be Oh, cool. that's a solid... That's solid for any display that you've got going. Yeah. You know. Right. Looks like Terrence Stamp. Oh, wait. What do we got oh, here? Oh, he, one of his boots. Hold on, we got to fix the neck. Oh, his, his neck is neck when they... There we go. There you go. This has a real kind of leathery vibe. Wow, he's bulky. Yeah, he's solid. Now, yeah. this is the first guy we've done. Yeah. So, yeah, he's cool. I Boats, like him. Yeah, yeah, actually, got to say. You know, and we're going to... He may be better gonna than the kneel, kneel before this is odd. This is... Uh, <laughs> see how I did that. Um, yeah, he's cool. I like that this, this is like a... This is two different types of material here that we yeah. have. For the vest Actually, and then three. the sleeves. You've oh, got, yeah, you got the boots. You've got felt. Oh, no, four. The leather. boots, yeah. You've got this, and you've got... And they even have... I mean, just this alone. This is stuff that you don't see anymore. It's this little red seam yeah. that goes down there. It's cool. Blood strike. They call that a blood strike. Blood I only strike. know that because the Marine Corps has it, and Han Solo has it on his pants. No, that's why you know. Yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> you knew oh, about Han Solo, then you heard Marine Corps and went, let me remember and I had that to help my, toy. I had to help my brother make a Han Solo okay. costume one year, and there we were like, go. where do we get Marine Corps blood stripes from? And he's like, we'll just cut fabric. You so know. you even got you got a little little Velcro back here. He's got a hairy chest? Wow, he's, I, oh, I didn't check that. Okay. But he's like, up top, he's yeah. solid. Because some He-Man figures, you would take off their chest plates, and they'd be yeah. clean shaven, and other ones, like you know Zodak, would have like chest hair. This is cool. And he stands. Well, you know what? what? Whatever they've done with these boots, they're magic. The boots, man, yeah. they stand no matter what. Yeah, no, I like him. He's solid. I got to tell you, um, Ooh. Mezco could, you know, maybe uh, get a thing or two from the fabric that they use on this. That's cool. Cool. Well, we've had some... Uh, crazy things on Mezco's, but yeah. I, I wouldn't say that there's as much of a difference between like a, this like jacket, then go to the sleeve, and no, then this like belt, belt around whatever it. Like, they're, whatever, it's never too different. It's usually see, all the same. Whatever they're using here, like look at how this plays mm -hmm. and doesn't bag. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So whatever that fabric is, 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 is pretty decent. And they even got, you know, your little white in the hairline here. Oh yeah. I mean, this is a great 1978 uh, Terrence Stamp yeah. and you know even though the other movie came out in like what 81 80, 80 or something I mean it was all filmed at the same time um, and he just well I, I, here's here's my big question and Chancellor and, Valorum that was his name in episode one wow 
look at you. Look at you. Um, that that's a movie, Ethan. Um, so here's what I'd have to say. I'm gonna give my son. Yeah, right. I'm gonna give my son a chance to play with these and see what he thinks, because these are definitely hitting the retro uh, nostalgia chord, right? Um, but I think today, for a company to be successful, you know, they've got to be mass market appeal, because you just you, He's you not gonna can't... get this one. I'm, no. ta- I'm taking this one. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I'm taking this. But one. <laughs> the 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 question is, is you know, you think kids want this? I mean, my son saw the Batman. He thought it was cool. Um, he doesn't know this version of Zod, for sure. No, he doesn't. Um, um, that's, you know... You, it's funny It's funny in the figures that they release in this size, because you could... Would Wonder Woman really fight Harley Quinn? No. Would yeah. General Zod really fight Batman? No. Harley Quinn, Batman? Yeah. These two, yeah. And it doesn't quite gel with who your ve- heroes and your villains are. You know, Batman's going to beat up a girl... So mm-hmm. here's here's my question for you yeah. uh, and for Marty. Okay. Um, what current properties would you like to see Migoized? Migoed. 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 Um, it's tough because I I'm not I'm not sure of the legalities of these things and and how they work, but I know that the Diamond Select and I've been to numerous Comic Cons in the past ten years where you could go and get a Mego style figure of like. The Planet of the Apes, like Cornelius and, and Dr. Zaius and things. And they did some Batmans, and they did the Monkeys, I think, again. So it would be interesting to see what... He was like, yeah, well, like we gave away our name for that, but we didn't really touch it, so we don't really have the licensing, or it was it was timed out, like V for Vendetta. That's yeah. a DC property. Pretty sure there was a Mego-style figure yeah. for V for Vendetta. So I would like to see that Universal to come back, because they did the Universals back yeah. in the day. But I knew at one point... There were all the presidents of the United States, like six presidents back, from 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 W, I think, down to Jimmy Carter, W, and maybe even Nixon, and they did them. No, and Obama had one too. They okay. were all Universal monsters. Oh wow! That's so so cool. each one was different in a in a style of a different monster, and for the president. So those were neat, and and yeah. that's that's that weird kind of niche fun that I think Mego has and then like today you know you can get Norm from Cheers yeah. so I think that's fun because now you can have a drinking guy in your action figures but does he come with a beer yeah he does that's awesome. but Tootie from from the facts of life Tootie. like I just don't see yeah I see Tootie everywhere I go and now I'm trying to find Bella Lugosi you know the Dracula for the season and he's go- he's pink he has a pink package it's not on any shelf but so, but what current property, new property, something that's, you know, last couple years, Stranger Things, uh, you know, uh, Spawn, like, you know, I'm talking something from the 90s to today. Spawn would be fun. I, I, Spawn I, I would do. A dig. couple of people have mentioned that on the Facebook group. Muckman? The Turtles would be, that would be interesting. Yeah, but how could you do, you'd that's have a to, hard one. You'd have to do them in the style that... These the clothes would be their skin, and then you'd have the yeah. turtle shell, and they'd all have probably have the same head with a different painted headband. Yeah. It would just be an interesting take on it. It yeah. would just it just be. I mean, like you look at the Planet of the Apes, and they all have like you know human hands, but they all have like you know gorilla heads and stuff, you know, and 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 boots and things and belts cover up a lot of the humanness of the doll. Any video um, game? I mean, I could I could dig up. You know what? Uh, I would like to see. Uh, we did, they did Star Trek. I'd like to see some of the next generation, like Worf, Data, yeah, okay. Picard, Riker. I mean, I'm sure they'll do a Troy because they kind of have to for some reason. Um, what about a, 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 a let, let, let me see if you can get the movie. Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. Oh, it's the Reiner Brothers. I could dig that. I could dig that. That's one that I would buy. It would work because it's humans. With humans. With, with crazy the outfit. Yeah. You know, and then, sign and then me you got to have uh, um, what's his name, um, Easy Rider, uh, Dennis Hopper. Ooh, how about this? As uh, King Koopa, you know, yeah. with the spiky hair and stuff. How about this, Back to the Future. I think there may have been a style of like that, but I mean, if they're well, going to do it again, what's... do it with the you know what, what would Marty come with? He'd come with neither the original the skateboard or the pink skateboard, the Mattel. Yeah, that would be really really cool. A Doc. In the in the suit oh, with, the, with the little case. I want the San Diego Comic Con 2019 um, cowboy doc. 
<laughs> no, I want Doc with the trains on his shirt. Yeah. From okay. Back to the Future Two. two. Okay. And with the younger face, like there have to be a difference the, between the two. I would like the box to turn into the train. You okay. Know, like oh oh the... yeah. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. worry. We'll we'll talk. Talk Marty. talk to us about Marty, boxes give us because. We we had a Teen Titan box once. Yeah. We actually thought you would fold it into the okay, T. Yeah. That was a great one. Yes. I'm gonna link that one right there. Yeah, we can throw this in. <laughs> Somebody's gotta watch that. It's only like 20 hits on it. <laughs> yeah, but General Zod's coming over me, or else uh, you know my wife would be having words. No, you're 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 all good for you're Zod. Zod. I'm all pat. Okay, Batman. So I I do. Bob had a good point. What I do like is that even though these are retro. The the character artwork, with the exception of Zod, are yeah. newer versions of Batman. Yeah. So this is a more recent Batman. Which, which is funny because we think it may be Zod's history now, like what more people know. Yeah. But yet, they didn't give Zod the, the what is it, what do you call it? Ooh. Like the, the, the Fu Manchu chops yeah. without the beard mustache thing. But they made him look like the 78 Zod. And this is, by the way, we didn't mention this. Ooh, nasty paper. Nice. Um, this is also very similar to how the Zod looked back in the day. Yeah. Like, he looked like this. He didn't look like the Terrence Stamp one from the movie. He had the gray and the black. And I think it's it's a cool look. This is, I think, the most retro, maybe next to Wonder Woman, yeah. of the set. Of the set. So now we oh, have... Oh, yeah, he's he's retro. Yeah, yeah. He's so, just out there. He's very cool. So first impressions, the coolest thing that I've seen on this Batman is the, the actual face sculpt or what do you want a cowl cowl to the face oh um, yeah I'm, I'm really cool I'm digging the size of his uh, ears too like they're yeah. not we were we were doing a thing for Batman Day um, and by the time this video is up it'll, Batman Day will be over but some of the figures we were looking at the ears are all in the older figures they get all bendy and weird and... I dig the yellow um, yeah the yellow belt this is very like was it with the new adventures of Batman you know he's got that the Dark Knight Frank Miller chess thing going on. I love, I, you know, because I'm still a sucker for a cloth cape. Oh, cloth capes are the way to go. And that's that's something that the Marvel Legends, I really wish, would start doing. And give, give us give us an option. If, if you don't want to do variants anymore, yeah. let us vote on it or something. So he's got the boots, got the Batarang, got Bat Gauntlets, got the belt. Very cool. Um, this, is, this is the Batman that I love, which is like the Batman who threw together a cloth outfit, you know, without impenetrable armor, armor that's Kevlar Ooh. and this and that. Yeah, those spin. Yeah. The hands are great. The face is unbelievable because you can see kind of that. Uh, we'll turn and let you see the actual head. Maybe we could zoom in a bit. But he's got that. I've been through a lot in in his in his forehead. This is very the the face. This is old school. This is this very yeah. reminiscent of the '89 Batman. They used to have like an 18 inch doll that yeah. was very huggable, but it's very reminiscent of that. Like it's just it looks like Batman, like the Batman in your mind. Like that's how it's yeah. gonna look. So we haven't said it yet, but do, do we have a discount code for this one? We do. Oh uh, no, not for Amigo, for our shirts. For the shirts. Okay, yes. so we'll yes. we'll throw that up. But yeah, Mike Callis. I gotta be honest, like I'm I'm gonna wear this. This yeah. is definitely in the because this is one of those let my let my nerd freak flag fly. Well, it's you know. also this is the retro look. This isn't the this isn't the new Amigo, which is yeah. a lot more of the rainbow behind the white. Um, Mike Callis uh, on T Public sent us these shirts, and uh, we'll have a promo code and a link where you can get the shirt. We'll also embed it, uh, yeah. not embed it, but we'll put it into the article and on a YouTube page. Yeah. Um, but it was really nice of him to send the shirt. I have a charcoal one. You got a black one. He had all the colors and well, listen, cool if, you're, if you're walking, you know, you're you're out at Walmart since it's the new Toys R Us. Let's say. <laughs> Um, though I can't buy Amigo there because it's a Target exclusive. It is for a Target now. Um, you know, and I saw you wearing the shirt. Yeah. I think mean, cool shirt. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get the the that a boy. Well, for be, me, being that you know we do this and we're into this, yeah, we're into this, we're thing. into this, yeah. right, Ethan? Me, we're, you, Ethan, yeah, Ethan, we're into it. Um, we just I thought it was an appropriate thing to wear, and it was cool that he reached out to yeah. us, and you know, it, it's pretty cool. So all right, so here comes the nitpick. You ready? You're going to nitpick Batman? Yeah. You, you want to talk about it. I have I, to. I know. Well, I'd like to say, before, before we get into the nitpick, I think it's a solid, um, was it 14-inch, 12-inch? 
Was it 12 inch? 12, 12. 12 inch Batman. I think it's really good. He stands on his own. I think the boots are awesome because they're shiny. They are different boots than General Zod's boots. They didn't like repurpose anything. 14 inch. 14 inch. Sorry. Um, you know, I think that if I was a kid and I was like six or seven years old, this would be this would be my Batman. He'd be going on adventures with me everywhere. Uh, this is a solid for me, eight and a half. And okay. he's actually just a smidge. So here's what I would say: if this was a thirteen inch, and we could just cut an inch out of that neck, so that's the only it's the thing. Neck, it's the neck for MJ, and I get it. I, I understand. Think it's, I think it's a little tall. Like I, I, they really did a great face sculpt on the oh, Batman, yeah. but it also seems like if you look at his head in relation to General Zod's head. Zod Zod has ears where Batman and everything's tucked yeah. in. Well, there's a lot... And it's not just the neck. There's a lot of things like... Because this piece is so thick... Mm -hmm. So, like, watch this. If you took this and tucked it on the inside, if I can do that real quick, watch what that does to the difference of the front of this figure. I'm going to try to do it so that it's uh, not see, all... the whole... This is all painted black, too. Yes. It's not like it's so part of So watch how that kind of... See? Yeah. It helps. It makes it look better. It does. It does. So if you take it out, tuck it. Yeah. Tuck your back. Yeah. <laughs> tuck your Batman. <laughs> we try to be so good here. We really this do. Is, this, I, this one really spiraled at one point. You know what? I'm, it's I'm not our we, fault. It's Ethan's. I'm glad we brought it back. And... He's got Oh, he's got notches on the belt. Got notches on the so belt. In case he has a big bat, so, so you can bat pull the bat dinner. belt yeah, the bat out. You can also stick the boomerang back here. Nah, it's got to go in the front. You know, it's real gangster. So what? You gangster? Yeah, so you can you see gangster? it. Like, watch out. Here I am. I'm gonna throw that at you. Yeah, this is actually this is a really cool. Now these are, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I at Target so. they're nineteen ninety nine. Uh, maybe twenty five. I've seen them for nineteen. Nin no, no, so it's nineteen. I, maybe okay. it just depends too where you're going. Um, I think, so I've seen all four of them, I don't want to say that they're not selling, but I've seen them everywhere I, I've, I've gone yeah. to a Target, you usually see the bigger ones, it's the smaller ones I think people yeah. are more, that's, they're so, picking those better. So, here we go, Migo, thank you again, we really appreciate it, um, where we want to promote and we're doing our best, so let's take a little pot shot at Target here. Get better at your exclusives, okay? If you're going to be the only place that's going to carry this figure, take a little bit of time. Nobody cares if all your detergents are lined up properly, but as a collector, no. and in general, we care. Wow, these these really display well. I know. I I really want to let her go, but it's it's these shoes. Wait, wait. I thought I had it for like a split second. Yeah, you got it. That's there right. you go. Hey, you know. Look at that. Just, oh, just do it. Just do a little bit better. We've, we've documented it. Um, we've you know, pretty, we've been pretty vigilant on Target, especially with NECA and the the Mego. We want to really see this last. Well, we, we want to see this evolve. Stay. We want to see this evolve into what other properties, like the Turtles, yeah. or you know, let's let's do a more screen accurate Wonder Woman of Gal Gadot, um, uh, uh, whoever's going to play Batman yeah. next. Um, so let's let's do that. Like we know the iconicness of these characters. But here we have a General Zod that looks like Terrence Stamp. So we want to see who else yeah. you can do. And clearly, when we have Tootie, um, we have Peg Bundy, we have Norm from Cheers. You know, you can, and they, I think they all look like them. Yeah. Or, or as they did when those when they were those characters. Um, but yeah, I, I think Target, Target really needs to, you know, they, they sign an exclusive deal with them. They really need to well, have somebody support, just goes through. You know, it, it's, it's not fair to sign a, a company that's on its way back to an exclusive deal and not support them in the way that you should. We're not saying put them up front. We're not saying anything other than keep, and not even keep it super organized. Don't shove it in a corner yeah. with other stuff mixed in or a lot of them are putting these displays next to the price checker. So yeah, yeah, before the end of the day, you've got 30 different items that aren't Mego stacked in front of what you're there to look for. So and if you're having problems finding these, I have found them on end caps closer to the girls section. Yeah. And well, when you have these two in there, it kind of makes how, sense. How hard is it to get a Mego and an arrow down sign? To, to They put everything else up on the wall or mm -hmm. in the ceiling, you know. But Marty, thanks again, Migo. Yeah, um, these are great. Um, 
Listen, I'm, 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 I really like them. I like them. Uh, you know, and just a little AFJ. You know, we're back. We're doing reviews yeah. again. Uh, you know, if you, if you haven't caught the other ones, we're filming some of these in succession today. Yeah. But uh, catch us on Bob. You gotta get out of the way. No, I gotta get out of the way. Uh, catch us at the Real AFJ on Twitter, the Real AFJ on Instagram. We're Action Figure Junkies on YouTube and on Facebook. That's our main uh, focus or main account for now is uh, Groups Action Figure Junkies. So come check us out. We yeah. really love doing this. We appreciate everybody who participates. And we and, will uh, interact with you if you send oh, us a yeah. question and we're. We try to respond We're as best regular, as we can. Oh, wait. regular Social guys. Media. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't we don't want to say the wrong thing. No. And it's tough sometimes not to. Yeah. 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 We really we so. want that nice nice line. Yeah. Customer service. But uh again, uh thanks <laughs> Thank so you. much and um we'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, this is